quiz. So now let us take a short quiz to test our understanding of the concepts discussed so far. <clears throat> A and B are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. A's capital is 60,000, B's capital is 30,000. They admit C for one-fifth share of profits. How much C should bring in towards his capital? Options are A, 18,000, B, 24,000, C, 29,000 and D, 22,500. <clears throat> A's capital 60,000, B's capital 30,000. So you've got actually 90,000. 90,000 is for four fifth share. 90,000 is A and B's share, which is four fifth. C is one fifth, so A and B should be four fifth. So what should be the total capital? It should be 90,000 into 5 by 4, which is. <clears throat> One lakh twelve thousand five hundred. So what should be what should be C's share out of one lakh twelve five hundred? Ninety thousand is A and B. Therefore, C's share should be twenty two thousand five hundred. Correct answer option D. <coughs> twenty two five hundred. Next, <coughs> A, B, and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio four is to three is to two. D is admitted for 2 ninth share of profits. He brings in 30,000 as capital and 10,000 for a share of goodwill. The new profit sharing ratio between partners would be 3 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2. Goodwill amount will be credited in the capital accounts of A, A only, option B, A, B and C equally, C, A and B equally and D, A and C equally. <clears throat> he brings in 10,000 for his share of goodwill. So what is the amount of goodwill? 10,000 into 2 ninth share is 10,000. Therefore, full 1 is equal to into 9 by 2. That is equal to 45,000. <clears throat> 45,000 is the total amount of good. Now, what was the old ratio? 4 is to 3 is to 2. If we take 45,000 and split it between A, B and C, in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we get 20,000. And 10,000. <clears> and once D is admitted, the new profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2, that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 by 9 of 45,000. So we are getting 15,000. Ten thousand, ten thousand, and ten thousand. Here, A sacrifices five thousand, B sacrifices five thousand, C does not sacrifice. D, of course, stands to gain. So the amount should be credited. Who are the who are the persons who are sacrificing? A and B should be credited to. A and B equally 5,000 and 5,000. <clears> this is the same problem. We could work it out in another manner. I mean, what we have discussed so far, though in when we are talking about goodwill, what we discussed just now is probably a simpler way of doing it under a multiple choice question format where we just have to select one of these options. But what have we, we had discussed? That... 
the old partners would be credited in the sacrificing ratio. If that be the case, <coughs> what is the old ratio? 4 by 9, 3 by 9 and 2 by 9. What is the new ratio? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 3 by 9, 2 by 9, 2 by 9 and 2 by 9. So what is the difference? You get 1 by 9, <coughs> 3 by 9 minus 2 by 9, 1 by 9 and nil here. Therefore, sacrifice this is a sacrifice which has been made by A and B. Therefore, this is equal. What is the sacrificing ratio between them? 1 by 9 is to 1 by 9 is equal. Therefore, A and B will be credited equal, <coughs> whichever method we choose to take. <coughs> So the correct answer should be C, A and B equal. Next, X and Y are partners in a firm with capital of 18,000 and 20,000. Z was admitted for one third share in profits and brings 24,000 as capital. Calculate the amount of goodwill. Option A, 24,000, B, 20,000, C, 15,000 and D, 10,000. So one third share, 24,000. Therefore, total capital should be 24,000 into 3 by 1 equal to 72,000. But what is the amount of capital which exists? It is 18,000, 20,000 and Z is bringing in 24,000. Therefore, this difference, 72,000 is the amount of capital on the basis of Z's share, but actual capital if you take, which has been credited to X's account, Y's account and Z's account is 62,000. Therefore, the difference of 10,000 is the amount of hidden goodwill. Correct answer should be D, 10,000. <clears throat> A and B are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 5 is to 3. On admission, C brings 70,000 cash and rupees 48,000 against goodwill. New profit sharing ratio between A, B and C is 7 is to 5 is to 4. The sacrificing ratio among A and B is 3 is to 1, option B 4 is to 7, option C 5 is to 4 and option D 2 is to 1. What's the correct answer? Old ratio 5 is to 3, 5 by 8, 3 by 8. New profit sharing ratio 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 7 by 16 and 5 by 16 and of course 4 by 16. <clears throat> so what is the sacrifice? 5 by 8 minus 7 by 16 if we take it is 10 minus 7 6 minus 5. So that is 3 is to 1. 3 by 16 and 1 by 16. Correct answer. Sacrifice should be 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. <coughs> Next. Amit and Anil are partners sharing profits in the ratio 5 is to 3 with capital of 250,000 and 2 lakh. Atul is admitted he pays 50,000 as capital and 16,000 as goodwill for one fifth profit. Find the balance of capital accounts after admission of Atul. What are our options? A. 2,60,000, 2,60,000 and 50,000 or B. 2,20,000, 1,82,000 and 66,000. Option C. 2,92,500, 2,25,500 and 50,000 and D. 2,82,500, 2,19,500 and 66,000. <clears throat> Amit has 2,50, 2,60,000. 
and Atul is admitted and pays 50,000 as capital. Now, Atul is paying 16,000 as goodwill for one fifth share. And let's see the old ratio, new ratio. Nothing is mentioned about the old partner. So, what is assumed? They continue to share the profits in the old ratio between themselves, and therefore, sacrificing ratio is also 5 is to 3. If sacrificing ratio is 5 is to 3, then 5 by 8, 5 is to 3, 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 of 16,000 will be credited, will be credited to the old partners. <clears throat> so that is 10,000 and 3 by 8 of 16,000, that is 6,000. So what would be the balance of the capital? Here, he would have brought in 50 plus 16 and 16 will also be debited from his account. So not writing anything here. The balance would be 50,000 for the new partner, 2,6,000 for Anil and 2,60,000 for Avik. <coughs> 2,60, 2,6 and 50. Option A should be the correct answer. <coughs>